basically shown their commitment to do innovative things and to uh, present to the world unique uh, packages that kind of change the game. And I'll tell you why this is a game changer. Uh, just to give you a little history, the problem I was having was a lot of times if I'm on, a, let's say, a TV set or if I'm on tour, uh, I would have to, if I wanted to get with a producer or if I wanted to make music with someone who was in another city, let's say they're in New York and I'm out somewhere in LA, uh, the problem I was having is we had to like do, you know, email back and forth, they email me the track, I'm doing vocals, they, I'm emailing it back, they don't like something, I'm, they're sending it back and we're going back and forth and doing this dance. Uh, a lot of music is being created that way right now. What I wanted to do is be able to create music in real time. So what we've basically done is created a software. Um, I, I, I thought of a software where a kid in New York, a kid in LA can go online, on their laptop, and create music in real time um, with no latency and no issue. So basically, if you, you're a producer and you got a phenomenal track and you have an artist who can sing or an artist who can, who can rap, they'll be able to go online and collaborate together and create music. And um, I think that this is something that a lot of musicians and artists have been waiting for for a real long time. And uh, it, it, it definitely changes the way music is created because now multiple musicians uh, in different locations all over the planet anywhere that they have internet access will be able to create music in real time and also meet other artists. So you may get with a kid from London, you may get with a kid, uh, a musician from Paris, simply because you went on uh, the site and uh, visited the lobby and met somebody and went, up, went into a session, logged on and started creating. Will you be recording your next album implementing this um, software? Yeah, I'm gonna do a, a little bit of the album on the studio um, and uh, make sure that you know, it's official, so absolutely, yes, absolutely. As a matter of fact, I started on my album too. It's, 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 it's authentic hip hop, it's the business. <laughs> I'm telling you, <laughs> it's the business. Oh. How many artists can collaborate one time in one session? Uh, right now it's two, um, but we're introducing, we have some, some stuff that we're working on so that it'll be three, four, five, six, seven, and it'll eventually be, you know, unlimited two within reason. And uh, so, you know, I'm gonna try to expand it as much as possible. But right now it's two. So you can, but you know, even that's a huge improvement, you know, from where we're at, you know, now. So it, it, it's, um, we've, we've solved, it's 10 times more convenient than any other thing that's out there, um, without a doubt. We, we will have, you know, yes, we, the, it's work, it works on multiple devices. Obviously, Sony, you know, helped us, you know, introduce this thing. So, you know, I'm not going to sit over here and like, you know, bang my man in the head about other laptops and other companies. But that being said, yes, it, it, it'll be work, it works on other devices. It's not exclusive, but I am, I do look at them as a great partner and I feel like they've embraced us and supported us and I want to reciprocate it. Yes, it'll be in the cloud, you know, you'll be able to, you know, your music will be, you'll be able to pull your music from wherever you need to pull it from to do your thing. So you'll be able to tap into the ether and, 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 and create, <laughs> you know. <laughs> There, there'll be apps for, you know, it's for PC now, and uh, there are other, you know, obviously it's written in different language, but there are, you know, the software is available, it'll be available on other, you know, devices as well that require different language. Can you speak at all technically about the, the latency problem? And how you well, I don't, you know, I don't really want to throw that out there. I, I, I get your question, but the latency problem has been solved. So. That, that, you know, I don't want to say how we solved it. You know, I don't want to, you know, um, you know, with all due respect, I don't want to run down my patent. But, you know, it's, um, we solved it. And it was, um, it was, it's very important, especially with music. Because, you know, if it's, if it's late, and if the music is late, and if you, you know, if you can't sing on time or rap on time, then it's just, you know, it's a, it's a waste of time. You know what I mean? It has to be, you know, official in that regard. And, you know, as a guy who, 
you know, knows how to, you know, rap on beat. <laughs> That's very important that we don't have latency issues. Is there any um, you, you know what? No, nothing that nothing that I think is of any consequence. I'm sure if we measured it and, and, you, and got in there, you could find some, but nothing that's of any consequence that's going to affect your ability to record in real time and, and, and create music that is rhythmically where it needs to be. No, I think it'll be. I think that it'll just enhance it. It's kind of like it reminds me me of when um you know when films when, when when television you know arrived when television arrived the film industry was really worried about um you know uh, television killing the film business and yes the film business did take a dip but eventually people got comfortable with both mediums coexisting and this is the same thing. This is not traditional studios are not the enemy. I love to go in the studio. There's nothing like that experience. There's nothing like having a room full of people, friends, you know, a couple of cocktails, you know, you're making the music, everybody's bouncing off the walls. It's a beautiful thing. This will just allow, now you can do it in two studios if you want. Um, now, you know, if you got a hot studio, you can use our technology and connect with another hot studio. You know what I'm saying? So it, it doesn't have to be a Sony Vios laptop at home. You, you might want to take it, the My Connect studio, to the actual, you know, a traditional studio our studio and work with it there and, and work with some people around the world so it you know it's all about how you want to use the product the same way Facebook ain't gonna stop you from going to the mall with your girlfriends <laughs> you know this isn't gonna stop you from going to a traditional studio you know it's it's we're be, we're friends with all the technology that's out there we're we're you know we're, we're here to we're an enabler an enabler we're not trying to change like or or, or do away with them you know There's no doubt that this product is geared more towards a new generation of artists. Uh, how do you feel about the new generation of hip hop artists today? Um, I think that I think that you know the new generation of artists. Um, first of all, they make a lot of they make a lot of earbud music. Um, what do I mean by that? I mean that a lot of the music sounds like it's made for people who listen to little headphones. You know, I don't think anybody makes music with the car in mind. I don't feel like there's any booming system music anymore. I feel like, you know, I don't know that, you know, any of the younger artists really care how it thumps. Yeah, it's club, but it's a little different. I think the 808s are tuned a little different. I think that there's a different vibe in that regard. Um, other than that, I mean, I can't, um, I don't have a particular, a particular problem with any new artists. Obviously, I'm not interested in trying to chase that. Um, I need to make authentic LL Cool J records and, and do what I do as an artist. Like, I think I would sound ridiculous, you know, trying to, you know, jump on one of these beats with the ticka ticka ticka. It's ridiculous. Like, what are we doing here? Like, where are we going with this, L? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, but um, you know, a lot of the music is cool. I mean, it's, it's okay. I think hip-hop in general, I think it's pretty clear that it's been commoditized a little bit. And uh, it's a little, it's a little one-dimensional. Um, you know, there's a, there's an, there's a, there's an incestuous relationship between all the artists. What do I mean by that? I mean that it seems like, I mean, when I'm looking at the radio and I have to ask somebody whose song this is, it's a problem. <laughs> you know who's on the song, but you don't know whose song it is. Like, how many times have you said to yourself, like, whose song is this? Like, I know who the artists are. I love the artists. But whose song is this? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The song is cool, but whose record it? Whose song it? That's crazy to me. Like, you listen to an LL record, I want you to know that's LL. Like, I, you know, so, but that's a personal taste thing. That's not about me criticizing a young generation of artists because I think that every generation of artists should have the right to create and express themselves the way they see fit. You know what I'm saying? So they got to do what they got to do. But for me, I'm a fan of knowing whose album it is, the music thumping, and, and really feeling like, you know, like I'm having a whole experience, you know what I'm saying, with this album. Not just feeling like I'm, you know, getting one apple off the tree and I'm on to the next fruit salad, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, I have time for one more question. Who has the, who has the question? Who's the last question? Anybody got a last question? I'll be the last question. All right. You do music so you understand how engineers are very fickle about what they use right what have what kind of feedback you've gotten from engineers that do music about this software well actually you know i've had my my engineer closely involved with uh developing this the software 
um, Glenn Marquise. And, uh, you know, we've been involved along with my partner, Ron, and the rest of my team. And uh, the software, the, the feedback is great. Um, you know, we're not, you know, we're not looking to compete with the other uh, uh, programs out there that you, that allow you to create music. We are, we are, we are looking to be, um, to facilitate those programs being able to be used. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, if you're a, you know, if you're a, 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 a Chevy guy, then this will help you get gas in your Chevy quicker. You know, this will make your car run better. If you, you know, if you're a Ford guy, this will make your car run better. You know, whatever you are, this this will help. So this this in no way is here to replace like um, Pro Tools. Let's say um, this will just enable you know you to use Pro Tools in a you know different way. Um, this is not here to replace anything. It's not because it doesn't exist. It's actually just a space that was open that you know. I wanted to fill. And you know, when I think about Sony embracing it, and I think about, you know, all of the energy that we put into it, this official, authentic hip hop launch, I mean it's 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 a phenomenal thing. But yeah, I, I'm I'm clear about that. And I'm the same way. I have certain microphones that I like, you know, right. you know, certain studios that I like, certain effects that I like, certain slap delays, certain different things that I like, and you know. So yeah, I'm I'm totally respectful of that and cognizant of you know what artists deal with on a day-to-day -day level when it comes to creating the music that they want to create cool